One of the great things about Google Apps for Education is the app of Google Classroom. And when you type in Google Classroom, this is what will come up. I already have Google Classroom and I've been using it for the last two years and I absolutely love it. And I kind of think of it as uh, Facebook but for your classroom and it's actually very very user friendly it keeps a lot of things in place for your class uh, I have a class that I conducted last year here it is there's my room um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to create a new classroom so I go up here and I click on the plus and it's gonna go and say join class or create class I'm going to create a class right now and just show you what it kind of looks like so I'm gonna call it Laythor and we're going to go to section one, hit create, and it's going to open the class. Now, if you don't already have a Google account, what's going to happen is it's going to wait till verify that you're actually a teacher. And so you'll have to wait before you can get access to starting up your class. So this is what in my new class is done. It's a verified me as an actual teacher. So that's great. I can select my theme. The theme just changes what it looks like in the background. Um, when I was doing a couple different classes, I would put some kind of themes in the background like science or um, reading books you see, you'll see further down in the themes. You can also upload your own personal theme if you wanted to. Maybe it's a class picture or whatever. I used a bit strip cartoon of my entire class last year and the kids thought that that was super fun. So uh, what I have here is my Google Classroom and in the stream section it's going to show you anything that's going on in your class. So I can share an announcement. Uh, I could say that this is going to be a social studies assignment. I can go in, I can upload a file and I can take it from my drive or I can upload it from my desktop if I wanted to. Uh, I can, we'll go from my drive and just remember I, earlier I was working on uh, some of these projects here. So I'm gonna do this one here. I'm gonna add it and it has uploaded, perfect. Uh, I can attach any of my drive items the same way just by doing that. I can even attach a YouTube video to go along with this or I can attach a web link. In here it's got my class right here so I have Lathrop section 1. If I was running multiple sections I could do Lathrop 2, Lathrop 3 and every classroom that I open it gives me the option to copy this in all of the different classrooms that I'm operating. I'm just going to copy it into this one for now. I hit post it is now posting it into my stream and there I go I've created a post. Now I can go in and add comments. I could have students go in and add comments. Any of those kinds of things will work. Now if I wanted to make this an assignment I could do social studies. I could do the description. Here is the intro Introduction to your social studies project. Perfect. I could change the due date here. So uh, let's say I'm going to make it due on August 27th and I can add a time. Sure, we'll say 11.59. Why not give students till midnight to finish it? I can go into here to upload a file. I'm going to go back to my drive. We'll click on that genius hour one again and now it is there. Now take a look over here. This is the really, really interesting part. It says students can view file. What it does when it does that, it means that students can only view the file. They can't do any changes to that file whatsoever. Very, very key. If you're using just a template that you've created, you can use that one. The other one is you can have students edit the file and I personally do not allow students to edit the file because too many times the file can get dramatically altered and what you wanted to assign as a project is no longer, no longer looking like the project you originally assigned. What I always do is I make a copy for each student. Then it saves. There you go. You can see it. I'm only going to assign it to Lathorpe Section 1 class. I go ahead in here and I hit Assign. And that is now assigned to those students. So 
It'll show up once it's done attaching everything. It'll show up in there. Assignments created. I can see that zero students have done it. And I can also see that zero students are not done. As your students start to complete it and hand it in and submit it, it'll pop up back here in the done section. And when you click on that, you would see your students' names, their status. You can put in the grades here, the points, um, and whatever their mark is. When you submit it back to them, it'll actually only show them just their mark. So they won't be seeing it. What you would see as a teacher is that this entire list would be populated with all of the students in your class down here. You would click on the file and then hit return to send it back to them. Okay. So that is one way of sending out that. And to get back to your home page, you go back up that, uh, that arrow. Now, if students are having a hard time getting to the link, you can just say Google Classroom, tell them to go to Google Classroom, and then if they want to enter in the class code, automatically creates a code here for you. I can reset this code, or I can disable the codes. It's totally up to you. This stream section right here, Anytime there's a message that's been posted in our stream right here, this stream that looks like this, I can delete those items if I find that they're inappropriate. I can also show deleted items. So basically anything I delete shows the students that I've deleted it. Up to you whether you want to do that. I always just uh, don't allow the deleted items to be shown. Students here, if I click on students, back up at the top of my page. Click on students, it tells me all the students here um, once I have them. I can invite students. So once I know their email addresses, I can invite them into here. However, usually when they join the class, they automatically will populate as students in here. And the about, I can just put a little description in here about the class. I can also invite other teachers to co-teach this class with me. So if I were deciding to do it as a joint project between classes, I could do it in here. And this is how you use Google Classroom.